so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to open uh, my code editor of choice, which is Visual Studio. Um, you can you can use anything you want. So we're not using any of the uh, any ASP functionality or any PHP. It's just simple uh, XHTML and CSS. So I'm going to open my website and I'm going to browse to that some event folder that I created. And that is stored right here. Open that up. And whoops, it accidentally created a web config file for me. I do not need that because it's not an ASP.NET project. And we are left with two JavaScript files and my images folder. So I'm going to get organized real quick and create a JS folder and also a CSS folder. I'm going to drag my two J JavaScript files into the JS and within the CSS folder I'm going to create um, a, new, a new blank style sheet. And we'll call it default.css. Okay, and let's go ahead and get started on our project. I'm going to add a new item. I'm going to add an HTML page called index.html. Go into the code behind, and let me go ahead and drag in these two JavaScript files. Now, don't worry about these too much. And actually, to be honest, I don't even know if I'll be implementing these though I think I probably will. So don't worry about them just yet, just go ahead and drag them in and then we will go over that when the time comes. I'm going to call the title of this page Some Event 2009. And let's also drag in <coughs> excuse me let's also drag in my CSS file. Okay, so I'm going to create the basic markup. Let's go into Photoshop real quick and just kind of brainstorm a bit. So, you can see here, I'm going to hit Control H to hide everything. Um, the basic layout, we're going to have up here a header, and then to the left I'm going to have a sidebar, and then we're going to have this main content section. Now there are many ways we can divide this up. It's a little more complicated than their, your basic structure. Um, so you can use your own method for for dividing it up. I think what I'm going to do for this specific page is a tier layout. So I'll have like tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. That way I have a lot of control over uh, how each of these boxes lines up. So tier 1 will be in a div with an ID of tier 1, then we'll have a div with an ID of tier 2, and then uh, subsequently tier 3. And then finally at this bottom we're going to have a footer. So it's good to brainstorm. Now let's go in and actually code it. And you'll see we won't even look at our site in the browser for, for actually quite a while. So I'm going to start uh, with a div with an ID of container. Close this out. And within it, we're going to start out with my header div. And let's start out with that heading level 1 tag, and it's going to be uh, some event 2009. That's where that logo is. And then under it, if we go back, we'll see I had this uh, listing, learn from the best minds in your industry. Just some bogus uh, slogan. Learn from the best minds in your industry. Okay. Next, we're going to need this login box um, right up here. So the way we'll do that is put it in its own div. I'll give it an ID of login. And we'll put it within an H5 tag. And we'll say uh, ad administrator. And I'll put an input field. Type is going to be text. The name is going to be admin. That should be fine for now. So that should take care of our header. We will apply that image as a background image. And 
So continuing on, uh, let's work on the sidebar right now. So div id equals sidebar, or you could call it, you know, secondary content, uh, whatever you're most comfortable with as far as uh, naming conventions. Okay, and within a sidebar, we are going to have our navigation first. So I will do ul with an id of nav, and within each list item, we're going to have a link uh, to nothing for now, and <coughs> and within it, the first one will be home. So I'm going to copy that. Let's see how many we're going to have total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total. Once again, we're only working on the first page, but I will do the rest later. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'll just replace these real quick. Uh, we have blog, schedule. You know, these are the standard pages that you might find on a corporate uh, seminar website. Speakers, uh, lodging, testimonials. I had always thought it would it might be nice to have some kind of um, a touch seminar. You know, maybe sometime down the line, uh, the, the family's becoming so huge, it would be great if um, all of us could get together for some master classes. But, you know, who knows if that'll ha ever happen. Long time down the road. So let's continue on. Uh, we have, we just finished our nav, so now we're going to have the events. I'm going to put events in a heading to tag, and then we have these images. Now, these images also obviously need to link probably to uh, an event, the events page. So let's go in, continue on, put it in heading to tag. It'll be events. And once again, I'm going to use an unordered list, with an idea of events. List item, and we're going to have a link. I'll just put it for nothing for now. And then we'll wrap an image. Source equals. Now, if you come here to my images folder, you're going to see uh, the way Photoshop named it, it used uh, numbers at the end. So I need to rename these real quickly. So if you want, you can just fast forward it about 30 or 45 seconds and I'll be done. Or you can sit here and watch me. do not have much to say. Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying these screencasts. If you ever have any requests, uh, please don't hesitate. You can uh, just leave a comment on the article, or you can email me personally at nettouchblog at gmail.com, seminar.jpg. Okay, that should do it. I'm going to come back to my solution, refresh my images folder and now we have our images. So now we know first we want the poker image, so that's stored in images slash poker.jpg and to make it XHTML compliant we'll add an alt tag of uh, poker night. Okay, I'm going to copy this, we're going to have a total of four. Uh, the next one, I believe we just have two total and then I repeat, so we'll do golf, um, this will be golf, tourney, and I'll copy that and paste it down here. And that should take care of the events. So let me scroll down, close that out, and we have the end of our sidebar. So let's look at everything we've accomplished so far. Once again, I'm not loading it in the browser. We don't need to yet. Let's just focus on the markup. We've done our header, we've done the sidebar, and we did the events. Now let's go ahead and take care of our main content section. So after the div sidebar ends, I'm going to add a new div called main content. And we will start with a div with an ID of tier 1. And let's just copy this, because we know we're going to have a total of three tiers. And I'll rename this one tier 2. 
and tier 3. And let's clear this, clean this up real quick. Okay, so we will get started with tier 1. Um, let's go back. Now you see here, this is the, the web version of our final product. Uh, in tier 1, I'm going to have two sections, register now and this featured content section. Now the way that this jQuery plugin is working, I'm going to have to put that w within a div as well. So come back into tier 1, and I'm going to do a div ID equals featured. I know some of you might think it, it's it's weird that I'm commenting out all of the divs. I think, it, at least for me personally, it saves a great deal of time. And uh, it's worth it in my situation. And especially when you're selling templates on a site like ThemeForest, you need to be as um, uh, explanatory as possible. So within Featured, I'm going to have a few images. But for now, I'm just going to add one because we will implement the, 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 uh, the jQuery functionality uh, just a little bit later. So I'm going to add a new folder called Featured Image, image and I'm going to pull in uh, which one do I need? I think it was hands shaking. No? Let's go back. You know what? Maybe I did not. I could have sworn I did, but maybe I did not. Um, save this image. So let me crop it out real quick. Just do kind of a a poor man slice. Copy that out. I'm going to hit Control Alt Shift S to save for web and devices. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. And that looks good. I'm going to save it. Save it in my images folder and call it featured image .jpg and make sure that's saved in the featured image folder. So sorry about that. I could have sworn I did that, but maybe not. So we have images slash featured image slash featured image dot jpg and the alt will be um, some event 2009. Now what I'm going to eventually do is add two more images and then the plugin will cycle through the images uh, hiding one, hiding the other two and displaying one. But we'll do that later. So we end our feature div. Coming down, next we're going to do that sidebar for the register now. So we'll do div with an ID of register now. And register now. And in here I'll put it within an H3 tag and we'll say register now. And then finally I'm going to have a link to the registration site. And once again that'll just be a blank link and then we'll add an image. And that's going to be within images slash register now dot jpg alt equals register now. And actually, let me change this to make sure it says register now, just to make it as as uh, obvious as possible. All right, that ends tier one. Let's move into tier two now.